on a less serious note, we were talking to, to Coach LT there, and she mentioned that your name was Curly, your nickname was Curly Fry. Do you have any <laughs> comment on that? That's news to me. Really? She says she calls you Curly Fry all the time when she's talking to the other coaches. <laughs> Yeah. I'll have to take it off. Is, is there any pranks? Apparently there's quite the, the pranks going on between, between the coaches and players? Yeah. Um, yeah, coaches are actually one-up on us right now, so we're going to get them back. Any what types of pranks are yeah, going on here? What's up the score? Is this a little pie to the face, or what are we looking at here? Uh, no, there haven't been a birthday pie in a couple of years, so like, dealing with the matches, open balcony. Wow, so this is kind of what, what happens on the road, I guess. <laughs> is this uh, rated at X? Because I mean, this is a family show, a web podcast, so um, PG. <laughs> PG. Yeah. PG is appreciated. Thanks for the time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. This is Husky Central. All right, I'm here with an interview with Troy Gosling of the men's basketball team. We're going to talk a little bit about the action coming up this weekend. So, Troy, tell me, you're facing SFU and Trinity Western. What's the matchup look like this weekend? Uh, they're going to be, I think, they're the toughest of the schedule. Um, we got some pretty good teams that are going to be playing throughout the season, and I think these two games are uh, big statement games to uh, tell everyone we're for real and we're coming for the championships. Absolutely. Well, you're sitting 4-4 four and four right now at 500. In second place, though, you're in a good position to make a move, and you guys had a little bit of practice down in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Well, we had uh, great practice, actually, even before Florida. We were training pretty hard for a couple weeks, and, and we did lots of uh, weight training and and um, practicing and stuff like that down, down. We had two pretty good games we played against some experienced teams, so we're definitely ready for the second round. Absolutely. Well, I know we're all excited for a long playoff run this year, myself and Bryce included. Uh, you guys... You guys sit courtside, right? Absolutely. Every day. You know we're courtside every day. Maybe not sitting like this, though. Uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to a good second half here. Are you guys feeling confident, feeling ready to go? Yeah, oh yeah, the guys are ready to go. They're itching to get back in the season. Like I said, we had a month of training, uh, getting after each other, practicing stuff. We're hungry for the for the uh, points to come. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure we can see eye to eye on this fact that we're both looking forward to a lot of Husky wins this second half. Yep. And best of luck to you. All right, thanks, guys. First, thank you. Uh, Greg, you guys had a pretty successful tournament down in the States over the break. Do you want to sort of give us a little heads up as to what we expect in the second half of the season here? Yeah, well, we were in Florida, which was awesome. Uh, we try and do something like that every couple of years for the guys. And, uh, we were in Fort Lauderdale. I think it was 27 degrees. One of was minus 27 here, so we were, uh, we were enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, we had, we had some good lifts. Uh, we got an away room there and yeah, practiced hard and had a couple of games. But it was just a good break for us. So do you think this is going to help you guys? Maybe was that maybe a team building thing that you felt was, was necessary? Maybe you guys get to know each other a little bit better on another level? Yeah, well, definitely. Every time we've done uh, these kind of trips, we always seem to come back uh, you know, refreshed, especially when you do it in the middle of the year, uh, in the heart of winter. Uh, something to get some sunshine and, and relaxing and recharging the batteries. And the season's a long season for us. We start in September and we go all the way through to March, so if you get a break like that, Helps a lot. Some of the guys were saying that you're the first one to the beach. Is that is that rumor true or? Well, I'm not as fast as I used to be, so <laughs> I tried to beat them to to the beach. We had them do some sprints on the beach one day and have uh, them run right into the water. I, I might have had a chance to beat them then after I tired them out. Uh, no, it was a good trip. What kinds of things are we going to need to maybe boost us up? You know, take us into the playoffs, riding high. Uh, just consistency. Uh, at this level, all the teams are good, so it's just consistent mental preparation and uh, physically being ready to go day in, day out. And staying calm through the ups and downs. That's probably our weakness, but it's getting better. Uh, experience. Uh, the only way you get experience is by getting uh, knocked down. you got to get back up, and then you start to learn that you up through the ups and downs of the game. You stay, you stay calm. When things go great, stay calm. When things go lousy, stay calm and focus on your performance. And we're getting close to that. And if, if we perform and pre prepare and perform consistently, uh, we're definitely a team, uh, certainly the top two or three in our division. And uh, I think we're the same spot in the conference. So we have a chance to win the conference this year if we uh, continue to work on that stability. Well, Coach, we really appreciate you. your time. Yeah. Look forward to a great second half. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. He's coaching Team Canada, man. Whoa. Yo, whoa. Do you know Willie won this trophy, man? Yeah, man. I always wanted this thing, man. Yeah, I'm me too, never man. Never gonna be able to win it. Hang on a second, man. I can jimmy this thing open. All right, go. I got a lookout. Is anybody coming? No, man. We're good. Yo, Bryce, take this one. Let's go.
Let's get out of here, man. This is ours. You check, look out. Yeah, man, we're good. Yeah, good. What we're holding right here is the trophy for the top male athlete from the university. And we got an alumni right now, the Huskies, who's doing big things on Team Canada, Coach Willie Desjardins, who actually won this trophy in 1983, the year they led the Husky hockey team to their first ever national championship. To Willie, from all of us here at Husky Central, Husky Athletics, and the university as a whole, we just want to say congratulations for being another proud alumni and for representing our school well. To you, Willie, and your team, congratulations on your silver medal. So Bryce, we're about to be the first people ever under six feet allowed inside the men's change room. This is a big step. Absolutely, but before we do that, I think it's important that we remember what it's all about in there, because the new change room has been dedicated in the memory of Ben and Jay, who was a terrific basketball player for this team, a terrific teammate, all his teammates there, and unfortunately passed away a couple years ago, far too soon. Now, um, taking a look at the men's basketball change room here, uh, it was freshly redone. Um, is this a little bit nicer than the old one? Yeah, yeah, it's my first year here, so I only got a little short peek at what it used to look like, but I've seen the volleyball guys, so it's uh, quite nicer. Quite nice. All right, so what types of things do you guys have in here now that kind of maybe you didn't have before? Well, one of the biggest things is the new lockers. I think they came in last year, so nice, big, spacious lockers. Got some storage room underneath, you know, put all your shoes and everything in there. Uh, next biggest thing is probably the carpet. Uh, I think we're the only team room that has carpet out of the ones that are in the packs. So that's been one of the nicest things. The logo that was put in, as you can see, has <laughs> been <laughs> oh, nice. wow. It's got to be a little uncomfortable so, having yeah. through yeah. that close. We've painted the right here. Here. This is usually yellow, where we've painted the green. The bathroom cells even been painted black. Black on gear. We have the Husky Pride on the back, which is our motto. Um, we've got our fridge, microwave, we've got a little kitchen set kind of right there. Um, if you want to go into the bathroom later on, you can see we have a nice new countertop with new sinks. Brand new mirror going up in there, so we check ourselves out what we want to after we've done our lift, you know? Absolutely. Make ourselves feel big. Uh, other than that, we have the 50 inch flat screen at the wall, which you'll probably be able to see later with our PS3 hooked oh. in there. We have our computer system set up with our printer, so if we ever need to print off assignments or anything, we just come in here and do that. So those are some of the major things we've had. So what you're saying is you can pretty much live in here? Pretty much, pretty, pretty much. Wow. You know? So who spends the most time in the fridge? Like who's, who's got food in there? Who's eating the most? Uh, probably our bigs, you know, our bigs have to get their yeah. food, they're all 6, 8, around that, so they always, they've got the chocolate milk and everything else stuffed in there, so I see Troy in there quite a bit, have a few other stuff in there, so. Okay, I was just looking at a, a fairly large shoe that is about the size of my head, which I don't know how you can have a shoe this big, or a foot this big, but either way, big nonetheless, you guys obviously have some nice couches here, maybe. Yeah, you know, uh, some, some nap time. Yeah, right? some ottomans. You know, the big secret here is they open right up. You know, <laughs> got your throw pillows, your throw blanket. Just put them up here. You can crush a little nap skis before class. Just sprawl right out there. Or you can uh, sit here and play some games. You got the open up the flat screen right here. I don't know if you can get that, but you know, we can fit the whole team across here. Four guys, play some Call of Duty, some Madden, you know, anything we want. So, Do you have the internet going on with this too? We or? do. We have the internet right there. We can hook that up to the TV, so usually we do that. Watch some Trailer Park Boys or something, I don't know. Right on. <laughs> so it's good to hear. Good setup. Awesome. Well, this is your wrap with Husky's basketball team in the locker room. So everybody wants to be like Mike, we all know that. But apparently around this locker room, they got a special nickname for you. You go by Grandpa Mike. Yeah, yeah, or, or old, uh, I don't know if I want to say the other part, old. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 man. You know not to step on here, that's the rules. Sorry, Grandpa Get down Mike. and give us 50 here. What the hell? Man, rookies don't know their rules. Their rules these days. Sometimes they can do teach. anything. Man, these guys are nice. Let us play their vids and all. Seriously, man, I'm stomping you right now. This is the most access. Yeah, man, we've been playing on this for like half hour. Yeah. We're gonna be on game two right away. I'm bringing the heat, man. You guys are still here? Oh, we thought we had all access, man. Man, we already gave you the tour with all access. This is our place. Get out of here. We're just sorry, man. All right, sorry, man. You know, next year when we're on the team, you're gonna be sorry. Yeah, man. Well, I'll wait for that. rookies, but two years from then, we'll be we'll be cool again. We'll be back. All right, Bryce, well, you know what? I think everybody's had about enough of these other than for one week. That's for sure. I feel bad for them. You know what? The one week down, see you guys all again next week. It's only going to get better. Let's get out of here. Yo, it is too cold. It's too cold.